Hi guys, this is Lewis again with his second attempt to the video for tonight. I uh, don't know what happened, I've just checked all the uh, the uh, recording except from the previous one and it seems like this, the uh, audio file, well the audio associated with it was corrupted. don't know how that happened, uh, let's hope this one goes okay. Um, I'm going to start off with the temp, uh, sorry, upper 850 temp seal of a pistol chart. I'm currently using the NMM model, it's high resolution on the network for extra. And as you can see now, well, from, starting from 4 o'clock today. At 5 o'clock there, the milder air associated with the low pressure system is pushing northwards, bringing much warmer, well not much warmer, but warmer upper 850 temperatures, making any any uh, precipitation falling as rain. And as you can see, as I go along here, it extends northwards, not, exa not exactly north, north-eastwards, more, it's, most of the colder air still stays in the northwest of Scotland, far northwestern parts of England and also Northern Ireland. Uh, this is just another system moving in um, at the time of talking now uh, with some colder air pushing across into northwestern parts of Scotland. As you can see, it's pushing in now, minus 8, upper 850s. Now, earlier on today, the, uh, the, the precipitation associated with the uh, low pressure um, did bring 4 to 5 centimetres of snow, 6 centimetres, maybe a little bit more um, of a high ground in West Yorkshire and South Yorkshire to low levels a couple of centimetres at best but nothing significant, significant uh, and it was mainly wet snow and obviously with the warmer temperatures moving up from the south uh, a rapid fall if not hasn't already occurred, it'll be reoccurring now um, so anything on the ground won't stick, uh, stick there much longer so but something to keep an eye on is as the band extends northwards it's going to uh, pretty much stall across the central belt of northern England into northern parts of Scotland uh, the Hall, and, and later on you get some more precipitation, organised precipitation, heavy pushing in across the northwestern parts now, it's the front earlier that's, um, that brought the snow to Yorkshire um, that's going to cause some problems uh, overnight it's going to get bright get quite intense and uh, it's going to stick around before it starts to fizzle out so generally as you can see these areas are going to get a good six seven hours of snowfall um, five to ten centimeters in terms of accumulations possibly 15 20 centimeters on higher ground but it's going to cause some disruption um, we've already another weather system approaching from the northwest uh, northwestern islands and uh, other parts of, and not far north of where uh, Scotland should get some uh, pretty heavy snowfall and as I just click through you can you can see the weather system approach now there it is, every snowfall, I mean this you can see there's a, a hook there, an echo here that's shown some heavy snowfall as well for the central parts of northern England extending southwards into northwestern parts uh, around the Manchester area and also into West Yorkshire then again I don't expect it to, um, this southern flank to, to stay um, prolonged uh, or intense, expect it to die up from the south, uh, becoming more patchier uh, and obviously more heavier as you go further north. If I carry on going through, you can see how it just gets very, very heavy. And just to show you, I mean, look at how intense the echoes are. I mean, generally, if you're here, you're going to be you're going to be seeing a lot of snowfall. I'm just going to quickly look at the zero degree ice firm. As you can see, 100 to 200, 300 meters, heavy precipitation. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be a lot of heavy snow. Uh, there could be as much as 25 centimetres in places, especially on higher ground. Uh, and coupled with that, you've also got um, some strengthening winds as well uh, associated with this low pressure. If I go on to the thickness charts, in fact, now I'll show you the dual points for now. As you can see, the dual points right down the span of the UK are pretty chilly until you get East Midlands, southwards across East Anglia, southeast and southeast England. Southern Central England and southwestern parts of England. And if you look at the temperatures as well, this is by six o'clock tomorrow. Temperatures around about zero degrees to minus two, a little bit colder as you go further northwards, and again zero to one with about three or four degrees in the capital of London. So this, it's going to be warming up slightly over the next week or so. Um, <coughs> how long it, how long it's going to stay like that for, remaining unsettled and, and milder? is the general theme. It's not going to be overly mild uh, like some are suggesting uh, but hopefully come say, middle middle of Jan we should be starting to tap into some north-north-easterly uh, system winds bringing in much colder air uh, 
and possibly an easterly. I'm keeping an eye on that. Uh, the models haven't backed away, have backed away from the easterly uh, over the past few runs uh, and shown more of a north-easterly or northerly in season, but I still think that towards the end of January into Feb that we're going to see a, a very cold period again uh, with plenty of snowfall uh, and it's going to be very, very cold. Um, I hope um, this video forecast was okay for you. I've had a few beers now actually, since I did the first one, so it might not be as good as the one that I initially did earlier. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, all the best. Bye -bye.